All right, guys. This is the first uh, video I do of my pumpkin patch, but I just wanted to keep a, a record of it. Uh, this is where it's at right now in the season. Today, uh, September 30th, here in Southern California. The last couple of days, it's been really hot. It's been in the 80 degrees. Uh, in the mornings, it's already in the mid 70s. So right now, it's pretty warm. And my vines are still thriving. Uh, I planted these July 1st. And I planted these from a Connecticut field pumpkin I bought last year from the pumpkin patch. Took the seeds out, dried them up, saved some for planting and roasted the rest. Um, but I planted about a dozen of them here, which I know is not ideal. Uh, but it had the best soil because here the soil sucks. It's mostly clay, very tough and holds way too much water. Uh, I figured I could just kind of direct the vines as they grew, which I kind of been doing now. Um, I planted, out of the ones that grew, five of them um, germinated and I kept them. And within about a, a month, I want to say, uh, they all started um, growing little baby pumpkins and the plants weren't even a foot or you know one or two feet long and I had one that was here the fifth one it never got more than a foot long and it pretty much started growing a pumpkin at the at the base where the vine comes out and that pumpkin never got to this you know bigger than a softball before it started to turn and I figured I might as well yank it to give the other one space. Let me see if I can put it over here. So I got this one growing out here, going all the way over here, and then all the way over there. Well, as you can see, I've been trimming the the leaves as they get old and shrivel. And this one in particular had a really bad infestation of aphids. Um, I don't know why, but just seeing this, as soon as I started planting the pumpkins, all these critters started coming, chewing the leaves, uh, just wreaking havoc. And I've also been dealing with a pesky gopher that's just kind of been tearing up the yard, just digging up everything. Anyways, here's the other vine I'm going this way. And this one's pretty long over here going that way. And got the next one right here. One over here. And I got the other one going out there. Coming around. I put some paper towels where the vine meets the brick so not to damage the vine. Now all of these vines already produced a pumpkin. Um, I noticed that once the pumpkin started to grow, the plant just completely stopped growing. Everything stopped. The vine stopped growing, the leaves stopped growing, so it seems stunted. But the, the pumpkins were the only things that were growing. Um, after about 20 days, it started to turn orange. And I was reading that pumpkin plants can't support more than one or two pumpkins at a time. So I figured, if I cut the pumpkin while it was starting to turn orange, it would continue to ripen off the vine, which they did. And within two days of chopping off the pumpkins, the vines just exploded and just started growing again, new growth. I mean, this one, the end of the vine was to here, and then it just kept growing over here. This one, the vine maybe was up to there, and after cutting off the pumpkin, it just grew massively over here and here I can I've been putting sticks to kind of guide the vine and kind of using it to measure how much the vine grows every day and you can see here it's about seven eight inches so that's pretty much what it's been growing per day in terms of the vine length uh, so it's been really fast uh, 
But here's some of the pumpkins that are growing. This guy going right there. Put some hay underneath to keep the pumpkin from touching the ground and rotting. Uh, like I said, this soil sucks. It's mostly clay. Yeah. Got this guy right here. And he used to, an old water bottle to kind of raise the vine up off the ground. Because this thing has been wanting to root at every single node. And I kind of had to cut the roots off and keep them in check. As you can, I don't know if you can see that, but it's been wanting to grow a lot of roots right underneath the pumpkin. Uh, the secondary vines have been growing really fast as well, and I've been kind of taking care of them as well. I've been burying the vine. Um, I haven't been digging a trench. Mostly I've just been laying the vine on the top and then just covering the vine with soil and keeping it moist. That way I don't have to worry about the vine sitting in stagnant water. Um, see, this is my biggest one so far. This one right here. And looks like it's gonna be a big one. I hope. I mean, the stem on this thing is ginormous. Uh, I got this one over here too that just got pollinated two days ago. And it's starting to go. Uh, I think this one's growing off a secondary vine. Yeah. Um, I know I don't have too much space so I've been kind of keeping the secondary vines in check trying to cut a few of them off and only letting a few of them grow it's pretty late in the season kind of don't want more vine growth I want the pumpkins to get as big as they can um, but these vines just sprawl everywhere I got to be careful where I step yesterday I stepped on this one <sighs> pretty much I don't know if I killed the tip but hopefully it it fixes itself but either way still plenty of vine left got some dinosaur kale there that I just planted a week ago looks like it's already sprouted and growing um, the aphids kind of just showed up out of nowhere uh, these plants were doing fine for till mid-august and then I started noticing uh, all these aphids on the underside of the leaves, which I've never really seen here in our in our backyard in our garden before So I've kind of been reading and I've been trying to go organic uh, I tried uh, Water and soap method I went to Home Depot and bought a sprayer And try to use that but uh, That kind of didn't work. So I went out and I bought this neem oil extract you know you mix it in with the water and the sprayer and also with a little bit of soap and that seems to be working um, I haven't seen that many more aphids any uh, with that much aphids anymore but before I was using this Dacanil and because I started getting an outbreak of powdery mildew and um, before the aphids so I bought this and really put the powdery mildew in check it just completely stopped it uh, I'm pretty sure it was bad because the plants were so close together and I think I was over watering at first so there was puddles <laughs> on the floor rather than having just wet dirt uh, but after the deck I switched to the neem oil extract and that seems to be keeping both the powdery mildew and the aphids at bay uh, and I kind of been fertilizing twice a day with this uh, you know just follow the directions uh, I fertilize each plant uh, well at least all of them except the long one I'll use two gallons of diluted mix but the other ones I'll use one gallon twice 
a week and I've also been fertilizing uh, with a 41010 mix which is pretty much the only thing I could find at, uh, available uh, everything else was kind of high in nitrogen which I read is not good and I don't know if I mentioned this but this is the first year that I've tried to grow pumpkins I've always just gone to the patch every year and and uh, bought them but I figured well if I buy three pumpkins spend between 40 and 50 bucks why not just try and grow my own this year um, I mean I probably spent much more than that already and fertilizer and materials trying to grow these but it's been fun and yeah I've been checking up on them every day watering them every other day now uh, I've had to water them every day the last couple of days because it's been like I said it's been really hot and the leaves were drooping in the middle of the day uh, but overall I'm hoping that these grow as big as they can this plant right here gave me the biggest pumpkin I have so far I already have inside about a 10 pound pumpkin and this thing looks like it's getting to be uh, might get bigger than that one which I'll be ecstatic uh, I don't know what else to say but yeah that's this is my patch um, been watching some videos on YouTube from other people growing pumpkins in their yard and uh, one guy in particular tried I forgot his name tried to grow pumpkins using tires which I found very interesting and I will attempt to do that next year uh, I'll probably save that spot over there uh, kind of had to sacrifice the roses because the vines were smothering it so I just chopped them the rose and it's exploding again I mean a week ago these weren't even here but maybe it's the, the fertilizer I've been using on the pumpkins over there as well um, haven't seen any squash bugs I don't know if we get them around here in Southern California or not uh, I'm pretty sure we don't suffer from squash vine borers either so I can rest easy uh, but if any of you have any tips for me to use now or next year I would appreciate it but other than that enjoy the rest of your day and I will be updating again later on when I start harvesting these pumpkins thanks